In today's video we're going to look at an exploration well that's uh, currently drilling up in the northern North Sea in the UK sector. Uh, it's the North Egg Well and it's uh, being operated by Serica Energy. We don't know whether this is going to be a successful well or whether it's going to be a dry hole but either way we think it's a good story, it's a good prospect worth drilling and uh, here's the background and the story to it. I hope you enjoy. What is Egg? Well, Egg is an island off the west coast of Scotland, uh, known as the Notched Island in Gaelic. And here you can see why this great cliff here and this mountain, Anskur, is, uh, is a very, very beautiful looking island, can be seen from quite a long distance away. Moving to the North Sea and looking at where the North Egg well is drilling, we notice uh, as we look at all the fields and discoveries which are shown on this map, there's a little bit of a gap that develops in between here. We've got lots of uh, oil and gas fields to the south and also to the north in the, in the Brent province. But in this region, there tends to be um, a, a lack of discoveries or oil fields and it's worth uh, having a look at that. But before we go there, just a reminder, we have lots of videos on a range of topics from the hottest exploration areas in the world, like Guyana, Suriname and Namibia, South Africa, to the world's largest uh, fields, Gawar and Northfield, South Pars are the biggest oil and gas fields respectively. We have noteworthy overviews uh, from different parts of the world, and we also do things like looking at the best and worst oil fields. We've got a series coming up shortly on how oil fields work, which will be very interesting to just understand how we get oil out of the ground. Explaining the gap, well, you can see that although here in this Jurassic time period, there were a lot of sands actually deposited across quadrant three and up to the north into quadrant 210, 211 and across into the Norwegian sector, Although the sands actually came through Quadrant 3, few examples of reservoir fasces being deposited in this region. Also, when we look at the lower to middle Jurassic sediments, they really are not as thick and well developed in the Quadrant 3 area as they are to both the north and indeed into the east as well. There are other reasons that structurally the Quadrant 3 area and the area where North Egg it's generally a, a more complex area than the Brent province to the north, but there are thick mudstones throughout Quadrant 3, so uh, a very thick Cretaceous and tertiary sequence with very few sands and generally poor connectivity to uh, the mature source rocks, which tend to be in the uh, Jurassic, in particular the Kimmeridge Clay Formation. Now we do know that there must be a huge amount of hydrocarbon generation going on in the region, but the question is, where has all the oil and gas gone? Homing in on the area we're going to be looking at today, we're going to have a look at uh, these fields. They're all operated by Serica Energy, so Bruce, uh, Keith, and uh, we're also going to be looking at Rum. This is where the North Egg Prospect is. It's in Block 324C in the Northern North Sea. Here's a map showing where North Egg is, just to the northwest of the rum producing field, which ties back to Bruce, and in turn, Bruce ties back here to St. Fergus for its gas, and via the 40s pipeline to Cruden Bay for its oil. Now, looking at Bruce and Keith and rum, collectively known as the BKR fields by the partnership, Serica Energy actually acquired these assets back in 2018 from BP, now, Bruce has been around for a long, long time, discovered in 1974 and on stream some 24 years ago. It's around about four kilometres depth. It's gas condensate, there is oil. Uh, it's a very complex geology. And though the middle Jurassic sandstone, the barrel sands as they're known, are the major reservoir, there are some contributions from the Cretaceous Turonian limestone and the lower Jurassic Stadfjord sandstone. Here's a picture of the facility of Bruce, and you can see here two platforms, although we can see in this here that there are indeed uh, three platforms uh, in the complex. They're linked by bridges. Now, Rum is a subsea tie back to Bruce. It's 44 kilometers north of Bruce, and its first gas was uh, delivered in 2005. Now, there have been a lot of legacy issues here with sanctions against Iran and the, the partner in the block here is, is IOC, the Iranian oil company. Now, the other field, Keith, um, is, is a single well tie back to Bruce. It's some six kilometres southwest of the field, but it's actually been uh, shut in for a long, long time. So it hasn't been producing any oil for many years. 
Now here is an example of the sort of information that we carry on RUM in our Trove database. Now this is the detailed geology, the project information, all the infrastructure. But we hold this information not just for RUM but on every oil field, gas field, discovery and prospect in Northwest Europe and beyond. So here is the RUM field and we can see the North Egg Prospect and the South Egg Prospect here. Both of these two prospects, they actually abut the East Shetland Bounding Fault. This is a massive fault on the edge of the basin. Both these prospects sort of lap up against it. The prospects have been known for, about, for over 25 years. But they haven't been drilled to date. Now, they've been perceived in the past as being too risky. And, and the risk that any hydrocarbon could leak across this major fault and basically that the prospect would be a dry hole. But you can see with the proximity to the rum field and the opportunity really to perhaps uh, piggyback over rum or take hydrocarbons back directly to, to the Bruce platform. Now, if North Egg were successful, there is the potential for a, a follow-up well on the South Egg prospect here. Smaller, but still could add incremental reserves. The well sputtered on the 11th of July uh, 2022 and we anticipate because it's a high pressure, high temperature conditions, that it's going to take several months to drill. The rig drilling the well is the Transocean Paul B. Lloyd Jr. And uh, you can see it's a harsh environment, semi-submersible rig. We'll be keeping an eye on this one and uh, probably doing a follow-up video when we get uh, news of the result of the well. What is North Egg? Well, it is a uh, structural trap. The reservoir target is Upper Jurassic Turbidite Sands that have been shed off that major fault. It's um, analogous to the rump field itself. We know it's uh, high pressure, high temperature. If it's successful, it actually de-risks the South Egg. Possible tie back to Bruce, uh, more likely, that I think, than piggybacking over, over rum. A range of numbers, quite a large range quoted for the size of the prospective resources. What we've done here is we've looked at this, that that's 58 million barrels of oil equivalent prospective resources. And that's unrisk. Now, if we assume a risk or a chance of success of 10 to 30 percent, we're talking about an opportunity that may be in the sort of 6 to 18 million barrels of oil on a risk prospective resource basis. So Definitely uh, worth going for and uh, would be a nice incremental project to extend the field life of both Rum and Bruce and, uh, and perhaps also Keith. I hope you subscribe and share this. Ring the bell. Be an early bird. See our videos when they come through. Well, we'll wait and see what the outcome of North Egg is. Uh, we'll probably do a follow up and talk about the results uh, if there's any information available. Let us know in the comments below if you found this of interest and what else you'd like to see on the channel. Thanks for now. See you back here soon.